Fieldwork is a fundamental component of ecology and environmental curriculum. Here at the Open University, we've been taking students into the field for decades, but some students can lack confidence to begin field studies or maybe find getting into the field difficult. So we've developed Fieldcasts. Using a system called OU Live, we're able to webcast to students literally live from the field. Using these interactive widgets, students are able to drive the investigation. They're able to choose the topics we study, develop hypotheses, methods, right through to the analysis. We use this to develop an investigation into a species-rich meadow. We wanted to make the field experience as authentic as possible, so we broadcast rain or shine. As presenters, we give the students the information they need to make an informed decision, but the decision belongs to the students. That means we have a student-led project in a tutor-led structure. As presenters, we don't know what decision the student's going to make, so we don't know what's going to happen. That keeps us on our toes, but that's the way fieldwork works. Fieldwork's really important because you can't understand the environment without actually getting out there and seeing how it works. Uh, there's also some formal requirements that students studying environmental science need to do fieldwork. Um, otherwise, uh, their degree doesn't count as an environmental science degree. But of course, if you're doing that remotely, then the uh, uh, ability to sort of really interact and to feel that you're in the environment is a challenge. So we try and make it interactive. We do make it interactive with a series of interactive widgets that are designed into the system that the student looks at. So um, we. Uh, have a sort of framework that we use. We, we, we sort of know um, generally what the students want. We want the students to get from the activity, but we don't have anything um, pinning us down as to what we're going to do. So the students choose their way through uh, through the exercise. We've got uh, choices for them to make, but they come up with the things that go in those choices, and um, uh, and they decide what from those choices they're going to do. We're going to assess the field casts by surveying students. We're going to survey them before the field casts, after the field casts, and then compare that to how students learn on the tutor-led field course. We're going to follow that up with some semi-structured interviews. It's nice to be part of this innovative project, this innovative um, teaching project, and having this real-time interaction with and feedback from our students. This is really really cool and um, yeah I just enjoy being in the field so no I don't find it daunting presenting from the field any more than I do from any other um, situation really. We have three presenters uh, mainly because there's quite a lot going on um, in the live situation we have the widgets we have to be checking um, of course there's someone talking and presenting and then someone else who might be saying things that they might have forgotten to say and holding up the equipment to show the equipment. Um, so there's just these quite a lot of things going on that we have to juggle. Um, but also because fieldwork tends to be a sort of interact and, and interactive and collaborative process and we're good friends as well as colleagues so we enjoy working with each other and we want to sort of convey this aspect of the fieldwork process to the students. Everything is battery powered, so the, the feed comes from the cameras and the mics uh, and it's mixed using a, a web broadcasting application. That's then um, sent out via a 4G broadband connection uh, to, uh, via a web streaming service so that students can pick it up in their browsers. Undoubtedly the biggest challenge is always going to be the weather. Hopefully it's dry um, and then we can um, run in a very straightforward manner. The next uh, biggest challenge really is uh, getting everybody to work together. We all have our own strengths and um, aims and objectives and so um, a sound script and rehearsals are incredibly important uh, but once those are um, planned in and working uh, generally everything runs smoothly and everybody works together extremely well. We're working on a project supported by the ESTEEM programme to evaluate the effectiveness of these field casts. Do students enjoy them? Do they develop their confidence? And does the student-led structure deepen learning doing fieldwork? Fieldwork is a fundamental part of our own research and it allows the students to consolidate their learning and put what they've learnt in the course material into practice. And also, by developing their practical skills, we can increase their employability.